Are you after a sturdy wallet that can take a hyper beam, look cute like a Gardevoir, and be slim like a Sudowoodoo? Well, I got you covered. Introducing the Ridge Wallet, a slim, sexy way to carry around your cards and cash. I've used the Ridge Wallet for over 69 years now. The Ridge Wallet comes in a variety of styles to suit your everyday needs. These are some of the wallet styles I like the best, like the carbon fiber, the titanium, the gold, really nice cool designs to make you stand out. They also have some neat products to complement your wallet, like a bottle opener, pens, backpacks, charging, knives, you name it. You can get 10% off your purchase today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash pip9. Yes, that's right, ridge.com slash pip9 and use code pip9 Link in the description of the video. Cheers, Ridge, for the channel sponsor. What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we have a Katana Sweep. Shadow Scarab, this one is for you. So Katana's got an absolutely crazy attack stat, and what we wanted to do was make it even more crazier. So we got 181 base attack, which is absolutely insane. So with the huge power ability, this Pokemon goes off the chart. I've got a very, very interesting, exciting, salty battle for you today. So make sure you do check it out. And if you do enjoy the video, people, please drop a like on that. I very much appreciate it. I spent a lot of time on this one, as you'll probably see. There will be some explanation of this set and the strategy at the end there, because it might be a little bit confusing at the start, and I will go over the whole thing. If you want to check me out on Twitch, people, this ride to all my streams, let's get into this uh, battle. So this is a battle against a uh, Tattoo Hunter. This is on the Wyckoff. Now, funny story, I actually forgot to pick a Pokemon on my team. I was like, man, I didn't even mean to do it, but uh, it's all good. So the first Pokemon we got here is the Dragfish, and we got a Weavile here. Now, the first Pokemon I've got on my side is Azumarill and Runarigus. Let me explain what my strategy here is going to be. So Runarigus has got uh, the Wandering Spirit ability. I'm going to take advantage of that with my huge power Azumarill. So what I'm going to be doing, right, is I'm going to be going for Protect the first turn, and I'm going to be setting up the Trick Room with Runarigus, right? Because I want to get that speed sort of control over the start of the battle. So we got the Dragon swapping out there. I guess it's a little bit scared of my Azumarill. And we got the Tapu uh, Finu coming in there. Nice, legitimate Tapu Finu. I love that in the morning. We're going to go for a Protect on the Azumarill. And uh, we got Weavile going for Fake Out. I want I wasn't sure whether it was going to go for Azuma or Runarigus with the Ice Star move. Um, I was very, very bulky on my Runarigus, so I knew that I could at least live one hit yet. So I got the Trick Room up now. What I'm going to be doing right is I'm going to be going for a Draining Kiss on the Runarigus, right? Now, Draining Kiss is a contacting move, right? And on the Runarigus, right, I've got an item. So what I want to do, the main thing about Wandering Spirit, right, is once you get rid of it, you want to get rid of the Pokemon very quickly, right, if you're going to try and pass something. This is a pretty cool strategy. So I'm going to go for the Draining Kiss on Runarigus. What's going to happen when I make contact with the Runarigus? I'm actually holding the red card here. So I attack myself there, Red card's going to activate and fling the Azumarill out of the battle here, right? Now, Runarigus now has huge power. It didn't pop up on the screen there, but you just said a little bit before it swapped the abilities, right? So it actually physically didn't show. Now we're going to go into Calyrex here because that a red card. It flung in a random Pokemon, which is Calyrex, which is okay. I've actually got a strategy here if it doesn't go into Katana. So we've got a Calm Mind here on the uh, Tapu Fini. This thing's getting a lot of uh, special defense and special attack boosts here, right? Now, I've got the substitute up on Runarigus here. We're almost ready to go here. Uh, Weavile's going to go for a Poison Jab on my Calyrex. Doesn't do a lot of damage. I'm running a fairly bulky set, and that is going to poison me. Now, people, it is time to go into the huge power Katana. This battle was amazing, and we got some beautiful salt at the end. Make sure you stick around for the whole thing and for the explanation, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Enjoy.
फ्लैश बैक Well, people, it was clown mode activated. Let me tell you what my strategy was here, and let me explain a couple of key moments in the battle. So at the start, to put things simply, what I did with Azumarill Ride was I gave Azumarill's ability to ruin Arigus through a physical contacting move using Wandering Spirit. Then what I wanted to do right was get rid of the Pokemon with Watering Spirit being the Azumarill, so I gave the Runarigus a red card which ejected it out of the battle. Then I had Runarigus with Skill Swap on the way to Skill Swap it to the Katana, right? And it worked out pretty well. I would have liked the uh, Katana to swap in instead of the uh, Calyrex, but it's random who it picks, right? Now, the other uh, members on my team here, we had, of course, the Squash or Quash Sable. I hope you like that nickname. That really Really, really helped against the Zacian there, putting any speedy opponents out of uh, you know action there, and then I could attack them. We had the wide lens on the Katana, so I wouldn't miss any moves. I know that's hard to believe with a 95% action move, but you got to watch it. Uh, Sword Dance and Raz Razor Leaf is really good. Razor Leaf also hits both uh, Pokemon, so it's very, very nice. And we've also got uh, Protect and Subdue there. Now, we had the Grassy Terrain Calyrex there, and I had that Helping and an Ally Switch, just some support moves. And Blaziken was the other Pokemon I didn't bring, but this one was just if I had a chance to uh, pass Focus Energy for some crits on the uh, Razor Leaf. So I didn't get a chance to do that because I didn't bring it, but it didn't matter. In the end, I got what I wanted anyway, and it was a dub, and it was an absolute massive pile of salt there, which was wonderful. Uh, there's not much too else to explain about this theme. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Watering Spirit is such a cool ability because it almost allows a lot of different change of ability. So I may do some more strategies with the Wandering Spirit Cofferigus in the Runerigus, sorry, in the future. And I really hope you enjoy this one. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.